So in this course, I'm going to be teaching different anti-inflammatory foods and lifestyle tips that really help you to take this long-term approach to your... So along with learning about inflammation, we're going to be learning about how to balance blood sugar, tune into your body, and also very practical tips for how to plan, how to prep, because that is so important. And then how to deal with emotions and stress, because even things like stress can cause inflammation in our body. So if you guys are looking to get healthy from a place that's going to nourish your body, lose weight in a healthy way, decrease inflammation in your body, and to just feel better, I encourage you guys to check out my course. There's going to be a link in the description down below. It's going to be an eight module course. So it can be eight weeks. It may take you longer depending at the pace that you need to go. If you guys sign up by March 10th, you're going to get a free one-to-one coaching call to use with me. So you have extra support and really help to tune in on exactly what you need. Also, if you guys sign up, March, April, and May, I'm going to be having two group coaching calls each month. So you guys will be able to ask questions, get accountability. So I encourage you guys to sign up if you guys are interested. Take advantage of these extra bonuses I have going on while the course launches. If you guys have a question, just reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram, and I would love to answer those. Hi, friends, and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four and military wife. And I'm passionate about helping women get healthy from the inside out so they can feel better and live their best life. Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight and get in shape? If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably, then you're in the right place. I combine my expertise from my doctorate in physical therapy to my experience as a health coach, personal trainer, and yoga teacher to bring you actionable steps for a healthy lifestyle. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. All right, so let's dive into inflammation today. Some of the information I'm gonna be talking about, I have read from Dr. Paul Clayton's book. It's called Let Your Food Be Your Pharmaconutrition. So I'll have that linked in the description. But he gives a quote in the beginning from the Scientific American in 2009, and it says, inflammation is the underlying contributor to virtually every chronic disease, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's, diabetes, and depression, along with major killers such as heart disease and stroke. So when we're talking about all of these different types of diseases, inflammation is underlying all of them. And it's something that really is just not talked about. When we normally go to our doctors, they're going to give us some type of drug that's going to suppress the symptoms of the disease, not really work on healing what is going on. But current research is showing that as many as 90% of these diseases are caused by lifestyle, sorry, lifestyle and dietary factors. So we're having a lot of this chronic subclinical, meaning we may not really see it, inflammation going on. So there's this new unifying theory of disease called the grand unifying theories of disease, and it has five parts to it. And the first part is that diseases of civilization are hugely influenced by lifestyle and nutritional factors. So these are the things that we can do. It's not just our genetics. So the health of a civilization is hugely impacted by our lifestyle. Number two, that many of these diseases have a common element, and that's that chronic inflammation we just talked about because it damages and it destroys the tissue and organs in our body. Number three is that key anti-inflammatory compounds in our diet are important like omega-3s that you guys have heard me talk about. Also, polyphenols are these special nutrients in fruits, vegetables, spices that are really anti-inflammatory. And also the 1316 beta-glucons that are found in yeast and mushrooms. And these things are powerful anti-inflammatory compounds. And also number four in this grand unifying theory of disease is that we've had a huge dietary shift and we've had a lot more omega-6s and pro-inflammatory compounds put into our diet. So as our anti-inflammatory compounds are decreasing, these inflammatory compounds are super high in our diet. And number five is when 
anti-inflammatories like the omega-3s, the polyphenols, the 1,3,1,6 beta-glucons are put back into our diet and those pro-inflammatory foods are avoided, the rates of disease fall by up to 90%. You guys, this is huge and it's in our control. And I think sometimes in our health, we feel so much is out of our control that we don't know what to do. So I want you guys to be in an empowering position where you guys can make changes in your health. And this is one of the reasons why I have become an independent partner with Zeno and share their products because I love their focus on decreasing inflammation, the science that they have to support it, and really their focus on this long-term health of lowering inflammation has such a huge impact in our long-term health in like heart disease and diabetes. And so I use their products and I want you guys to become educated so you can take your health into your own hands. So I love that Zenzino has balanced test and balanced oil. And this is where you can test that ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 that is in your blood telling you how much of these pro-inflammatory omega-6s you have versus the anti-inflammatory omega-3. So it's super helpful to be able to Just do this test at home and then start supplementing and making sure you're supplementing at the right dose. They also have their Extend, which is their multivitamin that has these 1,3,1,6 beta-glucans in it that I have seen a dramatic difference in it boosting my immune system, but it's improving my overall health and my overall immune system with the different compounds that they put in it. So if you guys are interested in testing your omega levels and supplementing with some of these products I'm talking about, the link is going to be in the description. So I hope you guys really start taking that next step forward in your health and that you're not sitting in confusion and that I think a lot of times we put some of these things off because we can't see an effect right away, but it's super important that we are preventing chronic disease way before it starts. So as we're aging, we want to be healthy. We want to get out of this fast lane where our body is aging at a faster rate and really step into that slower lane where we're lowering that inflammation in our body so that the aging is not accelerated. So some people who are at increased risk for chronic inflammation are sometimes just as we get older. If you're overweight, you're more likely to have more inflammation in your body. If you're a frequent dieter, if you're a smoker, or if you're a city dweller and exposed to more polluted air, if you're a heavy consumer of baked goods, fried goods, fast food, if you've been diagnosed with essential hypertension or any long-term illness that ends in itis, I-T-I-S, so that itis at the end means inflammation. So if any of those speak to you, You might be at risk or you might be having inflammation going on in your body that you're not really aware of right now. So our public health is not that great when it comes to preventing a lot of these chronic diseases. A lot of times pharmaceuticals are administered really late in the drug. Some of these can be very toxic, but none of the drugs really target chronic inflammation effectively and safely. We do have things like NSAIDs and steroids, but they're really potent anti-inflammatories, but they're too toxic to be taken long-term. So it's not something that we would use long-term to decrease the inflammation in our body. It really goes back to what we are putting into our mouth. And I don't know about you guys, but as I age, I want to age well. So ideal aging, we can really define as being free of chronic illness and really having a high performance in our physical and mental ability. So it's not just living a long time. I want to live a long time well. And there are studies that are finding people who are aging well like this, that they're the ones who are eating a healthy diet with lots of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and fish. And they're not eating our sad standard American diet that we have. Another thing that I find really interesting is When we have this inflammation going on, it shortens our telomere length. And if you start listening to things about aging, you're going to hear about telomeres. And when we eat anti-inflammatories like omega-3s and polyphenols, they have been shown to to inhibit the chronic inflammation and increase 
the telomere length. So this becomes so important in aging and aging well. And U.S. citizens have the highest omega-3 ratios in the West, and that is not good. We don't want a high ratio. And this is thanks to our diet and what we're eating. I know even though I was eating pretty healthy, my omega ratio was high because I wasn't getting enough omega-3s. I wasn't getting enough of that powerful anti-inflammatory compounds. And this showed up in my skin after my fourth kid, who he's now six, I had really rough, dry skin on my face, and it has improved so much more once I started supplementing at a good dose with the high-quality balanced oil, and I got my omega-3 up. So in his book, he talks about the blue zones. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the blue zones, but there are still some in like Italy and Greece, and these are where people are following a traditional lifestyle. So a lot healthier. But he talks about the mid-Victorian blue zone. So back in the 19th century, mid-Victorian England. And what they found when they started researching this was that the Victorians' chances of a healthy old age are better than ours. So even with all of our modern medicine and surgery and drugs, so these mid-Victorian people, once they got to the age of five, so some of those hazards of death that happened to little kids were a way their life except, except similar to our own today. And why is this? Because they ate a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. They had lots of polyphenols. They had beta glucons coming in their diet. So they had this really anti-inflammatory diet. And their diet was low in these inflammatory foods that we are eating constantly. They also tended to be way more active. And since they were more active than us, they actually consumed more calories than what we do. But the calories they consumed more of were really those high nutrient anti-inflammatory nutrients like fruits, whole grains, oily fish, and vegetables. So they were getting a lot more micronutrients and phytonutrients than what we are getting today. So I share this because I want you guys to be in an empowered position and really understand that a lot of our health is up to us. That what we put into our body makes a huge, huge difference. How we move our body, if we're getting enough movement and steps in, if we're using our muscles and doing strength training, this is all within our control. It's not what we hear when we go to the grocery store, when we step outside of our house, a lot of times when we're around friends or family. But I really believe this is how God intended us to be, to eat real food, to have fruits and vegetables, to make our food, to not be running to food when we're sad or we're anxious or not be celebrating with food every day. You know, our food is packed with these compounds like polyphenols and phytonutrients. And there's really so much more that science doesn't even know about yet. There are probably compounds in some of our fruits and vegetables that haven't even been discovered or well understood yet. So even though we may not have all of the knowledge, we can still be focusing our diet on whole foods. So I hope that this gave you a little bit motivation, a little bit of understanding of where inflammation comes from and what's in your control and that you can do differently. So in the description down below, I'll have links to some of the products I use if you guys want to get your omega tested levels at home. I highly suggest you guys doing that. I'll also have some links to related episodes. And guys, if you want to really dive into this topic more and really put these strategies in place to be eating a diet that is anti-inflammatory and lowering the inflammation in your body, I encourage you guys to check out my course, Healthy Inside and Out, where we're going to focus on lowering your inflammation, nourishing your body so that you guys can feel better. All right, friends, keep taking that one step forward in your health and know that you are in the driver's seat to your health. Keep putting that one step forward, just doing that one thing at a time so you can be a little bit healthier each day, each month, and each year.